Good morning students. Let's start with a new chapter today. Synthesis. It is on page number 168. I'm sorry, 164 and it's chapter number 27. Welcome back. I'm sure you are all ready and excited with your third term. So let's begin with this chapter. I'm sure you all have your books with you. Let's continue. See, synthesis, what is the meaning of the word synthesis? It says here, synthesis is the combination of one or two sentences into one new sentence. Means you have to combine one or two sentences or maybe three sentences to make one new sentence. That is your synthesis of sentences. Now see here, they've given it here. Synthesis is the combination of a number of sentences into one new sentence, simple, compound or complex. Now I'm sure you must have done it under the heading of types of sentences, your kind of sentences, that you have simple, compound and complex sentences. Now simple sentences are where you have a subject and a predicate, compound sentences are those sentences where you actually use conjunctions and then you have your complex sentences. Let's take one at a time. See, it says here, combining simple sentences into a single sentence. Now, we can do that by different methods. They've given all seven methods here. We'll take one method at a time. How you can combine simple sentences? You take two simple sentences, you join them, you make it conjunction. Uh, with the help of a conjunction, it turns into a compound. But now what you have to do in synthesis, you have to join the two sentences and make a new sentence, but the meaning should remain same. Let's see the first one by using a participle, right? So we can use a participle verb and we can change the sentence. How? For example, see it is given, the thief saw the police, the thief ran away. I'm sure you all have the books with you. See, I, I'll take this sentence here and I'll explain it. I'm sure you can see the sentence here, right? The thief saw the police, the thief ran away. We can say that there are two simple sentences. How we can join them with the help of a participle? For example, I'll take the verb out here. See the police or the Thief ran away. So what I've done is I've taken the verb here, I've changed it, and see the participle seeing the police. Seeing the police, comma, is very important. The thief ran away. Right? So I have not used thief once here, and then I can see another here. So I've cut it short and I've used it once. See the next sentence. The traveler was tired of walking. He sat down to take rest. Being tired of walking. So he was actually tired of walking. Right? Comma. The traveler sat down to rest. See the third one. He failed in the examination. First stop. He gave up his studies. Now not being failed. You'll always write having failed. Right? Having failed in the examination, comma, he gave up his studies. See the next one by using a preposition with a noun or gerund. Now, for example, see, you can always use a preposition, right? I'm sure you know what prepositions are. See, it is given here, he made a promise, he also kept, he kept it also. So, besides making a promise, he kept it. I will solve one of three sentences here, then you will understand. See, I'll take the first, uh, second one. She is rich, she is unhappy. So, she is rich, she is unhappy. Right? So, you, we can 
say that although or in spite of being rich, she is unhappy. Right? So we'll take the preposition. In spite of is a preposition. So we'll take it. See, it says here, in spite of being rich, she is unhappy. It's a prepositional phrase. In spite of being rich, comma, she is unhappy. Right? So here I have used it in spite of. Then of course being rich, she is unhappy. Right? Now let's see the next one. The leader did not succeed. He made every effort. With all his, you know, with all his efforts, comma, the leader did not succeed. So he used all his efforts, still he did not succeed. See the third one, by using an absolute phrase. Now by using phrases, I'm sure you know what phrases are, we've done it before, right? Let's see how we can change a sentence with the help of a phrase. You can use either, the sun rose, we started our journey. Our journey. The sun rose. So stop, we started our journey. So stop. So we will take a phrase and we will join these two simple sentences. Right? For example, they have given it here. The sun having risen. So it's a phrase here. Absolute phrase. The sun having risen, comma, we started our journey. So the sun having risen, comma, and you'll copy the whole thing here. We started our journey. Right? So what I've done? We have taken the phrase and I have framed the sentence. I have joined these two simple sentences to make one new sentence. You can see the meaning of the sentences not changed. So that is the basic and the most important thing that you have to keep in mind. Let's see the next one. The match was over. The spectators left the stadium. The match being over, comma, the spectators left the stadium. It was a sunny day. We went for a picnic. The day being sunny. We went for a picnic. Now see the fourth one. By using a noun or phrase in a position. Let's see. Noun, I'm sure we all know what a noun is. The name of a person, place, animal or thing. So we can use or we can join two sentences with the help of a noun as well. For example, let's see here. They have a sentence here, Newton was a great scientist, he made many discoveries. So I'll take this name here, Newton was a great He made many discoveries. Okay, it's not great again, it's many discoveries. Many he made many discoveries. Okay, now where do you see a noun? You can see Newton is a noun, it's a name. So we'll take this one. We'll start the sentence with Newton. Newton, comma, a great scientist. Comma, made many discoveries. Can you see 
see that. So what I've done, I've taken Newton, I've taken the noun directly here. I've taken only the important things about him. I've put a comma here, the great scientist, comma again, and made many discoveries. Rather than, you know, using pronoun or anything else, other than again and again, I've used the noun and I've completed the whole sentence. Let's see the next one here. It says here, Shakespeare was a great playwright. He was the author of Hamlet. He lived in Elizabethan age. Now you can see there are three simple sentences that we need to join. Again, we can take the noun out of it. That, that is your Shakespeare. We can put comma and we can put all the three sentences there itself. Shakespeare, comma, a great playwright and author of Hamlet, comma, lived in Elizabethan age. Right? So we've taken the noun and we have joined the whole sentence. The pilgrims reached Bethlehem. It is a sacred place. Now we have a noun again, Bethlehem. The pilgrims reached Bethlehem, comma, a sacred place. By using adverb or adverbial phrase. Now see adverbs, we already know what are adverbs, right? We will succeed, this is sure. We will surely succeed. So what we've done, we've used an adverb in joining the sentence. I'll take it this way. I, okay, I'll do one thing. We, I'll write it here so that you can understand. We will, I think so this is the first sentence, right? We will succeed that this is sure. We will succeed this is sure. So what I've done is, I'll take the adverb. So we will surely succeed should be the sentence, right? We will, now how we will succeed? We will surely succeed, right? So how are we going to succeed? We are going to succeed surely. Okay, now see the next one. The train was crowded. That was unusual. The train was unusually crowded. The sun set. Rohan had not come home. Rohan had not come home by sunset. Right? By using infinitives here. Now these are the most important sentences. I've already taught you these sentences. Right? Under the heading adverbs. Now see. The man was very weak. He could not walk. Let's see the sentence here. The man was very weak. He could not walk. Now we'll join it. The man was too weak to walk. Right? I hope you remember these sentences too weak to walk. So this is how we'll change it. These are infinitives. Let's see the next one. He is going to America. He wants to get higher education there. He is going to America to get higher education there. She has a large family. She has to support it. She has a large family to support. Right? By using adjectives. Now we already know what are adjectives. Let's see this. I read a novel. It was very interesting. I read a, a very interesting novel. I saw a building. The building was marvelous. I saw a marvelous building. A soldier had a horse. The soldier was young. 
The horse was black. A young soldier had a black horse. Right, so this is how we'll be doing it. Just go through all these topics once so that you know how you'll be joining the sentences. We have the exercises after this. We'll do the exercises in the next video, right? Now come to the next chapter, page number 168. It is the part of the same chapter, synthesis itself. Now it says here, you must have done this thing under the topic conjunctions. Now, we were using sim two simple sentences and we were, we were joining them with the help of different uh, ways. But now, we will join these two simple sentences with the help of conjunctions. How we can do that? Let's see. The first one, they've given it here, cumulative conjunctions. So, we'll be using cumulative conjunctions. Give me a minute. Welcome back. So, let's continue. Now, cumulative conjunctions, we've done it before. These combine simple sentences by adding one statement to another. Such as, and, both, and, not only, but also, as well as, no less than, etc. My friend is slow-witted. He is also lazy. My friend is slow-witted and lazy. She is beautiful. She is intelligent. She is not only beautiful, but also intelligent. Right? Sudhir is clever. Rohan is clever no less. Sudhir is no less than clever. Then Rohan is clever. My parents love me. My teachers love me too. My parents as well as my teachers love me. Now see, I'll, I'll do one thing. I'll write one sentence here on the board and I'll explain it so it becomes easier for you. We are talking about conjunctions now. This is one of the easiest topics and you should know conjunctions. Is that clear? Now see, I'll take one sentence. She's beautiful. First off, she is intelligent. both the qualities. There is no denying here she has got both the qualities will accept both. For example, she is beautiful, she is intelligent. How are we going to join it with the help of a conjunction? Let's see. She is sorry, not only beautiful but also intelligent. Is that clear? So what I have done, I have used a cumulative conjunction. Two conjunctions at the same time. Cumulative bring together. Yeah. She is not only beautiful but also intelligent. Now, I'm sure you do have some questions like, can we use as well as, yes, of course, you can. Right? For example, she is beautiful as well as intelligent. So, both are accepted. So, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to be scared. Till the time meaning is correct, till the time you're joining the sentences in a proper way, it's perfect. Right? Now, we have adversative conjunctions. Now see what adversative conjunctions are. Adversative conjunctions express opposition, right? The opposites or contrast between two statements. Such conjunctions are but still, yet nevertheless, however, only whereas. Right? So there's an opposition. Means, for example, she is pure, she's not intelligent. So there could be a contrast opposite. She worked hard, she failed. She worked hard, but, uh, I'm sorry, she worked hard, she actually worked hard, but failed. He's poor, he's contented. He's poor, still he is contented, means he's still satisfied. Maybe he's poor, but he is satisfied. The old man was tired and hungry. He walked on and on. The old man was tired and hungry, yet he walked on and 
or wise people speak politely fools shout wise people speak politely whereas fools shout so there's a contrast right so we'll do one thing i'll do the next of the two conjunctions and the exercises in the next class right so that is it now i think so we've done the uh, synthesis chapter 27 right we have done the chapter 28 and then we have chapter number 29 in your syllabus that is it for today thank you